Hello again, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, today's still water pattern is a pattern called the Woofter. I didn't name it, so don't start getting all politically correct on me. Um, the pattern came to be in an international some 10 years ago now, um, and it was, it was shown to me by Phil Dixon, and when I looked at the pattern I thought, I won't fish that, not a chance, but the whole team used it, and uh, they used it to great effect, so I was a convert from that day. So I'm going to show you how it's tied now with a little twist and what I have in the vise is a Hanak H230 barbless hook. It's a medium wire hook and it's at size 10. The thread I'm going to be tying with today is the uni thread in fire orange at 6.0. So first thing I want to do is get some wax onto the thread. Materials just sit better on um, a wax thread. So even though, you know, whatever thread you decide to use, yeah, I use various different brands for different jobs, but even the ones that say they're waxed, it doesn't do you any harm to get a little bit more wax on that thread. So as I say, this is a little twist on the pattern, and the reason for that is... I just simply don't have the materials for the original. So, for the tail, it was a marabou tail originally. What I'm going to use is um, a little bit of this pink zonker strip to add tail into my fly today. So before I take a bit off, I'm just going to quickly bring my thread to about just over an eighth of an inch from the eye of the hook. Then I can take... A little bit of my zonker strip here and just trim that away. Now, I don't want it to be a massive tail, so I'm going to dress it up to the hook. That looks about right. Then I can come in with my thumb and forefinger in my left hand and capture that in. come all the way back down to the base like so now I can come in with my snips just take away that excess get it out of my way now again uh, I'm going to use some of this stuff it's it's kind of like straggle fritz but it's not if you know what I mean um, it's not long enough for the, the pattern really, but I just don't have anything uh, suitable. So I'm going to use some of this. Uh, the colour's correct, just the length. I could, could have done with it being a little bit longer than this, the straggle. So I'll catch that in. Bring my thread all the way up to, again, a generous eighth of an inch. And this is important for this fly. You've got to give yourself plenty of room at the front. And if you don't, you'll be in a world of hurt later on. So, start bringing your fritz up. Nice touching turns. All the way up. And you'll notice each time I make a turn... I'm just coming in with my forefinger and my left thumb and forefinger of the left hand and slicking the fibres back. Don't want to be trapping any of the fibres underneath. Okie dokie then. That's looking not too bad. Once I've got it in place, I can do a couple of lock and turns. Bring my thread in front and I'll bring it right down to the eye out of the way. Then... I can remove my excess material and I'm ready for my wing. I'm just going to bring every, slick everything back, bring my thread back up to the space I've left, like so. Jobs are good in. Next then, the wing, I'm going to use some of Dave Downey's uh, Springwater Blue Marabou. I've only got a few plumes left, but uh, it's great stuff, this, and it's it's UV. 
when I've tied the fly, I'll, I'll put the UV torch over it so you can see uh, it really lights up. So I'm going to take a generous pinch. So that's for me, that's just about the size of my thumbnail. I don't know if you can how well you can see it with the camera. I'm going to take that off and just slick it out. Now I want, where possible, to try and get as much of this in. So the waste I'm going to disregard is much further up the stem here. So I'll just move to the side. I don't want this to go over the desk. And trim that away. So I've just trimmed that with my scissors. And I'm going to give it a little lick now. Just to make it more manageable. And then again, with my sharps, I can come in and just remove any little fibres. So bring that in over the top. Make sure when you're doing this, and I just want to stop for a second, make sure you give yourself a lot of material to catch in here because there is nothing worse when you're fishing. You go to tie a fly on and the wing's not been tied in correctly and subsequently the wing just comes away for the fly and it's completely useless. So make sure you get that caught in. And adding a bit more wax to your thread wouldn't go amiss. Okay, next I'm going to come in and pinch the wing with my thumb and forefinger and take away my excess. Now if I lick my thumb and forefinger, I can slick everything back out the way. Now, just spot a fiber there on my side. I'm going to get rid of it. Next, you get your tube and... For those not familiar with uh, me and boobies, I'll put a little Instagram bar up to show you how I uh, form my booby eyes. So I've already got my tic tac here. And what I'm going to do before going on is just add a little bit of wax to help grip the foam. And then where I've got my hole, where my needle was, I'm going to come over and capture that in. And as you can see there, that forms up my booby eyes. Then I can wind them up until they're on top of the hook. And capture them in with four turns one way. And then four turns the other way. And to finish off, I'm going to slick them straight back, both of them. And... Build a little head up at the front. And to finish off, I'm going to just add some UV resin. And finish my head. Now, for those of you that can whip finish, I'm really jealous. I'm just going to put a couple of half hitches in. Now this fly um, is used in the smaller sizes for the washing line. It's really effective for that. Uh, but I've found it's just as effective fished as a single fly on a sunk line and stripped as fast as you can. And it can catch a lot of fish. But depending on what sizes you're tying it in, and that's what I would suggest. Now, what I often do is add some super glue into the center here uh, and then leave it to dry. But unfortunately, I've left my super glue on my other bench. So suffice to say, I'll add that later. It's a great pattern. It's definitely worth having in your box. I know it looks like a monstrosity, but uh, please do give it, a, give it a bash, give it a swim, and I think you'll be pleasantly surpri uh, surprised. Thanks very much for watching. If you're enjoying what I'm doing, please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. If you want to make them up, that's how to do it.